All right, guys, I got a package. Do you see who it's from? Toxic Angels Bikinis. It's my bikini. And so I wanted to open it on film because you think you know, but you have no idea. This is the diary. The diary. This is the diary of a first time bikini competitor. Super excited. And it's making it so real. Oh my goodness. Of course, I'm going like, to rip it open. It comes in this little box. Toxic Angels Custom Bikinis. And there's some pink tissue paper on there. Oh my gosh, I can see it. Always handle your Toxic Angels Bikini with care. Hand wash all bikinis in cold water and a mild detergent. Okay, so there's little instructions on just how to take care of your bikini on top on a card. And oh my god, there it is. It fell out. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. Can you see that? It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. Look, okay, so there's this little, just a little connector there, and the two bead connectors there. All right, and then the bottom. Oh my goodness. So I have the two strand wavy connector. Oh my gosh. It's so sparkly. I can't wait. This is awesome. The bottoms. I am not used to that, but so pretty. I can't wait. I'm so excited. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. All right, guys, what you're looking at is some footage of me doing some conventional deadlifts from some different angles. So I wanted to share with you some tips for deadlifting. Now, these would be for beginners. I'm in no way an expert at deadlifting. I actually haven't been deadlifting that long, but I have had a friend um, show me the proper form and I've done my own research on them and they are a super great exercise for your legs, especially your glutes, and also for tightening up your lower back. So my first tip is that when you're lining up with the bar, you want to place the barbell about halfway between your toes and your ankle. So it's gonna be lined up over your midfoot. Now, that gives you enough room so that when you bend your knees, um, the bar is pretty close to your shins. All right, which is right where you want it. You're going to want the bar to move in a straight line when you come up and as you go back down. Um, my second tip and probably the most important one because it's going to prevent you from injuring your back is you want to keep your back straight. Because of the weight that you're holding with your arms, you're going to want to slightly round out the top of your back don't do that. To counter that, if you need to, you slightly stick out your chest. My uh, third tip is that if you activate your lat muscles, it'll help you keep um, the bar in the right position and your back in the right position and let and have it you'll have a much stronger grip um, 
on the bar. The fact that your lats on the side of your back are uh, flexed and activated. Um, there's a debate over which grip is best for the deadlift. Honestly, I started with a mixed grip, um, which will allow you to hold more weight, but you should probably start with pretty light grip, a, a light weight. And so I wish I had started with an overhand grip. Um, it'll build your wrist strength. And really, if you ever get to the point where you need a mixed grip, you could use lifting straps and you'd still be able to handle that weight. Now again, I'm still pretty new to this. I'm not trying to deadlift 500 pounds. And my last tip is to make sure that your hips hinge. There's two major movements, two parts of your body um, that are moving. Your knees extend as you go up and your hips thrust forward. So seriously, think of like glute bridges or hip thrusts, which is why deadlifting is so good for your glutes. When you're coming back down, you need to make sure that your hips hinge or push back first, and then your knees start to bend. So how much you bend your knees depends on your height and your body mechanics. So like I said, I'm not an expert at um, at deadlifting but I do know some things so if you're looking to get started with some conventional deadlifts which would be really helpful for your glutes your back and really the rest of your legs as well then give these a try Okay guys, so I'm going to try this protein coffee um, for this one packet. It is 2.5 grams of total fat, 9 carbs, and 20 grams of protein. So that's really awesome. So it says you can put it in a blender with water or milk or in like a shaker with um, cold water. Or milk so I'm gonna put mix it with water because I don't want to add other calories I'm only six weeks out today from the competition but that's pretty good macros and it has caffeine just like a regular coffee it's made with real espresso coffee it says so um, the brand is chive and they sell like a big thing of it at the grocery store but I wanted to try it before I invest and see how it is. So I think there's a mocha flavored and then this was um, the original iced coffee. So we'll see how this is.
still tastes a little powdery. I might need to shake it up some more, but the flavor is really good. Yeah, it tastes just like um, a slightly thicker iced coffee. So if I shake it up a little bit more, it's pretty delicious for 20 grams of protein with your coffee. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so this is how I make my spaghetti squash. There is um, not even a whole serving of canned tomato sauce um, or like pasta sauce, all right? And a uh, four ounces of lean ground turkey mixed in there, all right? All with the spaghetti squash. And then on top, I topped it with half of serving of reduced no, no. fat feta cheese. And this will be so filling and so good. And it's very low carb. Here, let me go for my... Drive your belly button towards the wall more and okay, suck it one. in. Yep. Yes, that looks good. Straight, now bend it. Try bringing your legs a little bit closer and point your toes a little bit more straighter. Yep. Okay. I think that looks good right there. 